Hello, do you remember? I. Cologne, chocolate party. Oh my God, Lambert's amazing. Yeah. We, met we were just talking about that. <laughs> we met oh, so many times. I love Herman so much. That's so dope. Yeah. My you? mom's been here there so many times singing. Yes, we love. We love Lambert's. Did you, did you miss Cologne? Oh, very much so. Yeah, I, I, I miss just traveling in general. So this has been so special. And just thinking about like, that was pretty much one of the last times I came out to this neck of the woods with my mom was because of that. So I'm so grateful for like the memories, for sure. And now you're in Star Wars. I mean, how much does I Star know. Wars mean to you? I know. Uh, oh. Um, everything. I mean, Star Wars is, you know, also something I've been able to share with my mom. I remember when we watched the first Mandalorian episode together and I said, may the force be with you for the first time on screen and she got to witness it and she just like slow head turned with tears in her eyes, just freaking out because she was a little girl when she saw it. And I think that's what's so special about Star Wars. It's not something that is just individual and personal to you as much as you can feel inspired by it. It's something you share generationally. It's like it's it come, become a part of the culture. You can't go <sighs> without people knowing exactly what you're referring to. And that's amazing. There's something quite magical about being a part of that universe and being here at Celebration and hearing the energy and the passion of the crowd. Like it feels like a family. It's special. So what was your favorite moment on set? Did you have maybe some nice memories, some anecdote, some weird things happen behind the scenes? Oh, well, behind the scenes, I, I, I mentioned um, there was a moment where Spike Lee called me and I didn't have my Montrals on, but I had the orange paint with the white markings. And he's looking at me and he's like, what are you doing? You, uh, you filming The Lion King or something? And I was like, no, Spike, I'm doing Star Wars. He was like, Star Wars. I'm like, yeah, I got like two lightsabers, man. And he's like, All right, okay, you know, and I think he finally gets it now um, and I can't wait to share it with him. But, you know, he's a huge part of me as a Brooklyner, as a New Yorker. Um, he gave me, you know, a job. I auditioned for He Got Game in my senior year of high school. So it actually felt really special for him to call me on this because whenever I'm still, you know, the fact that I'm still in the industry after he gave me such an incredible opportunity, I think it means so much. And uh, I feel like he knows that his investment paid off to a certain degree or whatever. And yeah, it was really special. Uh, my other one I would have to say is just seeing Robert Rodriguez on set. You know, going from Sin City where we were literally, you know, pretending to tape on the floor and we'd have to change positions because the cameras had to stay fixed. And now we're in the volume and like the level of detail and the animatronics, like all the different things is just, we both look at each other like, It's, there's, there's talk about an upgrade, right? Like, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty special. It's pretty remarkable. So it's cool much. to watch a change. Well, be great meeting you again. Awesome, wonderful All to meet you again, you. too. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.